Hi, I'm Andy McMahon, the director of the Eli and Edith Broad Cern Center for Regenerative Medicine and Stem Cell Research at USC. I'd like to welcome you to our building today and give you a quick tour, show you what we're doing and where we're doing it. This floor, the first floor, you're looking at the opening entryway and the seminar room, which is a vital part of bringing together people to talk about research across the university. If we go up to the second floor, this is where many of the critical core facilities are, the enabling facilities that allow us to perform the groundbreaking stem cell research that's going on at USC. In this space, we have the stem cell core, where our investigators and many investigators from outside of U USC can learn the intricacies of working with stem cells. In this room here, we have the therapeutic screening core, where we can apply drug screening to identify new drugs that modify the activities of stem cells and potentially find new therapeutic agents for stem cells and to treat disease. In this room, we have the Biological Imaging Center, where people can study and image stem cells in minute details and find out key aspects about stem cell biology and stem cell function. This big machine over here, we use to sort stem cells. Stem cells are just a rare population in any of our body systems. And to be able to purify those stem cells away from the other stem cells, from the other cell types of those systems, is critical for understanding their actions. If we go to the next floor, this is one of our research floors. Each research floor has five to six investigators and a dedicated group of postdoctoral fellows, clinical fellows, undergraduates, graduate students, all working in different areas related to stem cell biology and regenerative medicine. These encompass working on neurodegenerative diseases and finding treatments for diseases such as ALS and Alzheimer's disease, working on kidney and trying to find ways of trying to reform kidney structures and help repair damaged kidneys to treat people who suffer kidney damage on acute kidney injury or suffer from chronic kidney disease. People working on development of the skeleton, working on repairing and regenerating missing bone cells and cartilage that underlie many diseases that are present in the increasingly aging population. Finding ways in which we can try and cheat heart disease and form new heart structures. And understanding basic concepts that underlie the workings of our stem cells. The workings of stem cells broadly that have potential to make any of our stem cell body systems. Or the stem cells that generate specific types of cells in our body, like the stem cells that generate our blood. Not all the stem cells in our bodies are stem cells we want. For example, cancer stem cells are a type of stem cell we really want to remove because these perpetuate and propagate cancers. And researchers in this center are trying to do just that, to remove the cells that maintain the cancer. So all of these researchers are working on diverse problems, but all connected around the workings of stem cells and taking that knowledge to develop new therapeutic approaches for the future of medicine.